Hi beauty fam, I'm back doing a comparison video between the new Louboutin liquid foundation here and the Prada foundation. And I have obviously two different colors and we'll do a wear test and see which one I like better and then kind of do a comparison video. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like below. Helps me out engagement on my channel. And with that out of the way, let's begin. So I ended up picking up this Prada Beauty foundation last summer of 2023 and I'll put the video up here and I actually will be creating a different video just watching all the shades that I ended up getting. I ended up finally settling with the shade MW45 and that is the shade. Now this is a refillable component. This is the refill. It's all glass and it comes with this refillable packaging that you put this glass tube in and then the, the cap. So I have seen some reviews of this and I, you know, I did my review without seeing anyone's and I think it's really interesting. You know, I have an on and off relationship with this foundation and packaging. Some people really hate this packaging. I think it's cool in design. In terms of implementation, I think it could have been better. I do like the sleek design of it. It's just, to me, it's a bit strange how this is so luxe and glass and then this ends up being kind of just like plastics and it's kind of I don't know in a way like it looks pretty but it feels very chintzy and that it's like a plastic tube I like this part but it's just that this is such pretty glass and then you end up putting it in this plastic sheath and yeah I can see why some people don't like it one thing I don't like about the product packaging is that it is a bit because it's a refill it's can sometimes feel a little bit shaky. Can you hear that? Well, I do shake my foundation before using it. So the rattling can irk me a little bit, but I just deal with it. There's worse things you can complain about, but you know, this is a luxury foundation. So we'll test that out on one side of the face versus the other, where I'll be testing then Louboutin, the liquid foundation on the other side. This is how much the Louboutin foundation costs, $77. Again, luxury pricing. I do think the packaging on the Louboutin foundation is so much better, so much luxe, all glass. It has the Christian Louboutin icon here, the branding. The top is like, I call it the crown. <laughs> it's, just, it's like this beautiful art deco design and it has like the studs, which are part of the, you know, aesthetic of Louboutin and just beautiful packaging inside. It's the red, kind of like the shoes. And I just think overall the packaging is so much better. But let's talk about details about the foundation. Prada is supposed to be kind of like long wear, like a soft matte, but full coverage. I would say this is definitely more full coverage than the Lou Bouton. It also has a perfume. It's like a Prada smell, like probably their perfume. It does have alcohol. I did look at the ingredient list and alcohol is somewhere in like the top 10, I think of this. And usually when there's alcohol in the top five, I can't do it because it irritates my skin. So for example, Pat McGrath has like alcohol high up on their foundation, but this one is okay. And the smell of the foundation is just okay. I'm not a fan, but I deal with it. This is definitely more full coverage and it's more of a super soft matte. The Louboutin also has perfume in it. I would say the smell on this lasts longer than the product. This is definitely a matte foundation, but it's like less full coverage. It's more like a soft matte radiant. I did see some reviews of the Louboutin that some people didn't like it. I think what I really love about this foundation is that I have super oily skin. So the fact that it actually is matte with a luminosity works really well with my skin. So since I have oily skin, it's not a big deal, but I can see if you have like regular combo or dry skin, you might not like this, but I think it's worth a go, but we'll try both of these on today. So I have no makeup on my face. I already have my skincare down, but I decided for a primer, I'm going to use the Sisley Double Tensor Primer, and I don't want to add any kind of extra oil or glitter or tint. I do love the Tatcha Silk Liquid Silk Canvas, but I did notice with this primer, it actually does lighten a little bit. And I don't want to lighten the color of what I'm wearing. So I decided to use the Sisley Double Tensor. Again, it's like a gel. It's more like skincare plus so. primer. 
Again, this is the Prada and I'm trying to think what I want to do. I think I'll use the Louboutin on this side of the face and the Prada on this side. So we're going to start with the Prada because I guess I feel like I'm more familiar with it because I've had this longer. So you can see what I mean. Can you hear this? <laughs> like you should be shaking your foundation before you use it because it tends to settle. So I know it's in the component in there. Like it's solidly in there, but it's like when I'm shaking it, you can hear it. And it's just, it's a little bit just weird and kind of irksome after a while. It makes me not want to shake my foundation. So again, this is MW45, medium warm 45. And I had one heck of a time finding the right foundation shade. But the way Prada really markets this, they say that this is like a stretch foundation based on AI of like a lot of people's faces. I don't know what that means other than it's like some sort of new technology and it's supposed to stretch, meaning like it'll adjust throughout the day. And now this is the Louboutin foundation and this is the shade 40 Warm Olive. And definitely... I think it's better for my undertone, although I would say it is a smidge too warm. So in a way, this is too light and this is too warm. We'll see how they look. So I put both of them down. I can definitely smell both of them in the perfume. I would say the Louboutin foundation scent or perfume is definitely stronger than the product. I'm going to use two different brushes, but I'm going to put the foundation on with my finger first so you can kind of see how the texture is. Let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going ahead with the Prada foundation. It's pretty thin but pigmented. And this is probably about like half a pump and now it's probably a full pump on my face. And I'm using my Sonia G Lotus series of base. And when I got this last summer, I was not as tan as I am right now. So you're going to notice it is a little bit too light. But it's really beautiful going on. And I'm not putting extra foundation on my forehead. That's where it like looks the most obvious. I'm just like putting any extra foundation I have up there on the brush, patting it in. Okay, so that is what MW45 looks like from the Prada foundation. Again, I think it is a little bit too light because I did get a tan when I was on vacation. But what I found with this foundation is that throughout the day, it kind of doesn't oxidize. It just kind of like adjusts is what they say. It kind of adjusts to your skin tone. And then I found that to be true I don't know, it must be part of the technology, but it just looks really nice as it wears throughout the day. So it is a smidge light, but there's through bronzer and whatnot, me finishing my face, it'll look really nice. I'm going to put a little bit more just so you can see what it looks like, that it can be built up a little bit. And I'm just grabbing a little bit more here. And then I'm kind of spot treating the areas that I know. I have more texture. And I'm more stippling the product in. I'm not rubbing it really hard. I'm actually just really just using this almost like a delicate fan brush. Okay, so that is the side with Prada Foundation MW45. Very nice. I think it's just like a soft matte. It looks very, very natural. Feels really good on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. In the past, when I was testing it, I think I put too much of it on. And what I've learned, at least with this foundation, because it tends to be medium to full coverage, to not put too much. So I, I think I was putting between one and two pumps on my face. I've learned to just do like half a pump maybe on just this side. So a full pump on my face and just being really light in the application of it. Okay, so that's nice. So we're gonna go now into the Louboutin in 40 Warm Olive on this side, just shaking it a lot. And already you can see it's definitely more Warm Olive which suits my undertone, but 
I've always found when I have warm leaning foundations of the danger of that is that sometimes they're too warm toned so that I might look too orange if it oxidizes. So I do believe this oxidizes a little bit, not terribly like MAC. So I didn't put a lot on. I'd probably put on a quarter of a pump on my half a face here. And this is the Sony G Jumbo Base I'm using. There's definitely more perfume I'm smelling from the Louboutin. It reminds, the intensity of it reminds me of, it, of like Chanel. So if you don't like the intensity of Chanel foundations, like the perfume, you might not like this. But for me, I'm okay with it. There are some perfumes I really can't stand. Okay, so this is the Louboutin side. Louboutin on this side. And then MW45 Prada. I definitely think this looks more like full coverage and like seamless. It makes me look a little more like flat matte, whereas this looks like a natural matte but the luminosity. I think this actually is not a really good shade match for me at this time because I'm a lot warmer, but this is a better shade match because of my tan. I'm actually going to put a little bit more, just like I did on the other side, just a little smidge and just putting it on the parts where I do have texture and rosacea and just kind of patting that in. And then someone, I can't remember what platform, they asked me, yes, MW or M40 Warm Olive is my shade now because I'm tan. If I were to get paler in the winter, which one would I recommend? I would probably recommend the, what shade that I had? I had 40 Neutral. So neutral, I would get less warm and I would be more warm, like neutral olive. So that one had like a really nice neutral olive undertone. So not 35, but 40 neutral for sure if I lost my tan. Okay, so this is the side with, this is the side with Louboutin. And this is the side with Prada. MW45. And if you were to ask me now which one do I like just based on like the application now, I would like both of them for different reasons. I feel like I like the full coverageness of the product because it's just super like finished looking for like an event. Like if I'm going to do something at night, I probably would use the product, but I like the Louboutin for every day because it's a better shade match for me but also there's it's almost a little bit natural looking for me and my skin type and if you want to know more about my skin type in the description box below I have aging skin rosacea pores here and eczema as well and I'm a warm olive complected person and I have really really oily skin all over oily so I can see maybe some of these both of these foundations might be really challenging if you have dry skin or patchy skin but my face is so hydrated because I have my skincare on lock my face like more importantly than beauty like my skincare routine is like really important to me I'm actually really particular about my skincare routine more than my makeup I don't have any concealer down so this is what that's the side is looking like Louboutin and then Prada. And what I would say about what was frustrating with Prada, I think I had five or six shades to find this one, is that it doesn't go super warm. Like this is like the warmer um, of the shades for Prada, but it doesn't go very yellow or warm. So people complain sometimes with MAC or NARS that they're too yellow or orange. I have the complete opposite complaint about Prada is that their warm isn't warm enough. So it's just like a warm neutral leaning, like it needs to be a little bit warmer. This is what the foundation looks like further away. Let me know what you think. Louboutin. And then Prada. All right, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back and then you tell me what you think. So I'm back with trying to finish up my base. What I want to do is actually show you on camera of me kind of powdering down this product. I'm grabbing my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder, medium to, I'm almost like a, a pan this, and then using my 
my Lunar New Year, Year of the Rabbit brush. This is squirrel hair. I'm just going into this. I want to show you on camera how this product, this is the side here with the Louboutin. How that's looking. And this is the side for Prada. This side definitely feels lighter, but also more full coverage. This looks like a natural matte. I would say the Prada is definitely more dry, like a flat matte, whereas there's a little bit of luminosity with the Louboutin. It's not completely matte. Okay, so that's how the foundation is looking. Prada on this side, Louboutin. And I don't have any skin products on. Why don't I make really quickly my Chanel bronzer and Sun Bathy. It's a shame I tried to look to see if they actually make this product still and they actually don't. I'm using my Sony G Niji Pro Brush. Concentrating a lot of it up here. And then grabbing my Corel Givre. This is the from the Chanel collection, the Healthy Winter Glow. This is the one that's coral. And then grabbing my Chanel blush brush. I'm treating most of it here so I get a lifted look. And then I'm gonna finish with a Prada Beauty lipstick. This is the shade Monochrome in and I can't remember the names of the color because these are refill cases. I'll put the name of the color below, but this is what the Prada, <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. You have to make sure it clicks or else it's just gonna <laughs> be weird again. really pretty like beigey pinky peachy nude these are definitely not my favorite formula but what I found to best for me is that because I just can't do super mattes anymore I actually lay down a little lip balm so it looks really pretty okay so this is what the foundation is looking like up close Louboutin on this side and then Prada on this side So what I'm gonna do is do an all day wear test and then I'll try to check in throughout the day. So my face is powdered. I don't wanna put any setting spray because what tends to happen is that it actually causes more oily oiliness, but I'm not going to add more powder. So I'll be back. Hi beauty fam, I am back and it is nine o'clock at night. So I've had this foundation on for nine hours and the only thing that I just put on is some lipstick I just randomly have. I, I did a combination of, I just literally just grabbed whatever was here. This is the Dries Van Noten Graphic Ochre and it looked too orange so I just love this topper. This is, uh, this lipstick is the Rouge Coco Balm Keep Cool and when things look either too warm or too pink I love using this Keep Cool as a topper because it just kind of cools everything down as the name says. So actually I'm thinking about getting a backup of this because it's just this is magical lipstick. And the Streets Man Naughton lipstick is such beautiful. I love this packaging. Okay, I'm getting a little tired, so I just want to do a really quick check-in, and I don't know if I'm going to do another wear test. But let me take a look. Yeah, so I would say it's starting to wear down here, but that's pretty good given that I was eating. My makeup is looking pretty good other than the Chanel starting to look smudgy, but it kind of looks like a cute, like, smoky smudgy. I kind of like it. And I usually like it more when it's clean under here. I would say that the Prada foundation looks like it's wearing better. I think 
the Louboutin is a bit more oily. Even though this shade in daytime looks a little bit paler, it actually at night it looks pretty good. Okay, so the light is up a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. Whereas this, you can see where it's starting to get shiny. That's actually the oil peeking through. In terms of the foundation not wearing down, they actually both of them look really, really good. I would say that a person who has oily skin, this is kind of what we worry about, that the foundation, if you want it to be like really full wear, like all day, 12 hours, that you want it to be super, super matte. So if you were looking for more of a super matte foundation, I would say Prada is the better foundation. This one by Louboutin is more just like, like a radiant matte, but there's definitely more oil on this side versus the Prada. The Prada is definitely more matte and mattifying. But why don't we go ahead and do this? I am going to grab some blotting papers. And I thought I was going to be able to do this when I was out and about, but I didn't have time. So I'm taking some blotting papers and I love to do this because what it does, it, it doesn't really cover the foundation. It just should gently blot any extra oil. And this is exactly what happens to almost any foundation I'm wearing. I will have to use three of these blotting oil papers because my face is so oily. And my favorite blotting papers are the ones from Tatcha. And they're so ridiculously expensive, but really I find like they're the best. If you know a blotting paper that's really good that doesn't have powder or scent, let me know. I'm willing to try it. But so far, these blotting papers are the best ones that I can find on the market. This is the Chanel Corel Givre from the Winter Glow. So this part here isn't actually oil. This is um, part of that iridescence that blush has. So it's kind of throwing me off, but I can still say that the Prada one looks to be more like a flat matte and more of a true matte. So even this side looks even more even where there's more dimension on this side. This is a better shade match for me, but the thing is that some people have noted, and I'm also noting it too, is that there is a slight oxidation that happens with the Louboutin. And so even though 4N was too light, by evening it looked really good because all my natural oils came through. But I like both. It depends on what I'm looking for. If I want something that's super finished, I really like this Prada. That's why I would like go like a full beat of going heavy on this foundation. Versus I, what I really do like and just really enjoy about this foundation is that I can wear this. I feel like it's more of like an everyday foundation, like even during the day. It just looks more natural. Like it almost looks like my skin looks like really good or that I'm not actually wearing foundation. Whereas this looks like I'm definitely wearing foundation. But you tell me what side you like better. This is the Louboutin side and this is the Prada side. They're both beautiful in different ways. If you were to ask me which one do I like more, I mean, I'm actually really, really enjoying the Louboutin more just because of the packaging, the overall look. I just find that it just looks more like a natural look. It's also a better shade match and warmth, even though it does oxidize a little bit. I just would rather look a healthy and like warm tone versus pale and a little bit flat matte. So that's just a preference thing. Now, if I were having an event where I want to look super like chiseled and like really like kind of like more put together and porcelain doll kind of look and super flat matte I would go from for Prada this is like a really how would I say it's a very finished look kind of foundation and that's why I wouldn't want it wear every day in a way it reminds me of the the Armani luminous silk foundation where I used to own it but I just after I finished it, I didn't want to buy it anymore because it always felt like I was wearing makeup. Like it was just too finished looking for me, which although it's pretty like, I, but I just, I'm not that kind of person that wants a finished, super finished matte look all the time. But I think this is just a beautiful kind of everyday, my skin, but better, really a natural, beautiful looking foundation. But let me know what you think. Maybe you prefer this look more. I don't think one's worse than the other. I really do enjoy both of these foundations, but I love the packaging more than 
Prada, what I just <laughs> described, you know, and something that kind of irks me is like, I always have to like fidget with like the placement of this, like if I wanted to line it up, yes, and it does bother me, <laughs> like the placement and the name of the shade is always covered, like it's always covered by this. So yeah, if that bothers you, that I mean, most people know their foundation shade, but if you're an artist, like I just think that it's not very functional, the packaging on this. And that's just me. I think they're both cool packaging, but I think this is more like screaming looks. Okay, I hope that has been helpful, Beauty Fam. I'll get in close so you can see before I sign off. Again, this is the Prada side. And this is the Louboutin side. You can see where there's actually more radiance there and it's not it's not the oil what it is is that this because this side's like super more full coverage and like more of a flat matte if that makes any sense i just like it because it's just it looks a little bit more dynamic instead of flat looking so that's it beauty fam if you were to ask me like which one do i like more just by for little differences i enjoy and love the louboutin one more than Prada and I can usually tell because I usually if I like a foundation or start to love it I can't put it down and I haven't put this on I've only worn a different foundation once in the 10 days that I've gotten this and Prada I did put down after a while it wasn't like I was super in love with it I just like super like it if that makes any sense so I hope that's helpful beauty fam and let me know if you have any questions below and I'm actually gonna do a separate Prada video based on the uh, the shades that I did have and then I'm going to swatch them for you and actually do a swatch test on my face and then do an update on the Prada products that I bought which ones I'm loving actually after almost six months of having the products which is it worth it I'll talk about the two shadows that I got the one that was green like the billiard green and then the purple one and then I have a super red soft matte and then I have like a beigey pink uh, in the regular matte formula. So remember to subscribe so you can see when that video goes up and then I'll link my previous two videos that did a full review on the Louboutin foundation and my previous one from last summer of the Prada collection when it first released. So remember to comment and like below. Remember to subscribe. I would appreciate your su support. All my closest foundation shades are in the description box below. And if you want to support my channel, then feel free to use any of the affiliate links below. I get a small commission from any of the purchases that you make. That's it, beauty fam. Take good care of yourself and others and just be you. Until the next video, take good care of yourself. Bye.